Hello, this is Dr. K. Let's talk about designing good rubrics for Module 5 of our PBL flipped class. Let's talk about weighting elements. When creating rubrics, remember to think about weighting the various elements. So let's talk about what this means. What if in a rubric the content knowledge is the same number of points as writing conventions or artistic elements? If the project contains no content knowledge or the knowledge is wrong, should students be able to earn a passing score? Weighting the categories is a way to resolve this, is this issue, which I've seen in many rubrics, some I've written, such as the one on the next slide. Notice that if the style choices and grammar are top notch, this student can earn 20 of 30 points, even if their content is completely wrong. Perhaps content should be 10 and style and grammar maybe 4? Or what if we put a multiplier in here so content is king, as they say? Maybe content should have a multiplier of 4 or 5 to make it worth more than the other criteria. The most important parts of the project should be worth the most points. The less important parts should be worth fewer points. Let's view another rubric and consider how it might be made more effective. In this rubric, each item is worth a range of points. For example, for the highest level, there is a range of points from 6 to 10. How will the teacher determine whether the project is 6 versus 7 versus a full 10 points? How will the teacher justify to a student the grade which was earned? What made one work a 6 and another 10? Very hard to tell from this descriptor. If the project meets all the criterion language, there should be one score cut and dried. For example, four for the top level, three for the next level. Multipliers are one way to weight the rubric so the important elements, such as content knowledge, earn the majority of the points. Another problem to avoid when writing rubrics is language which is vague. Descriptors should differentiate a four from a one or a six from a 10. In the rubric shown previously, the language could be more descriptive. Without well-written descriptors, grading becomes completely subjective. Hope this helps you write better rubrics. And all of this was learned the hard way, writing bad rubrics.